We have a couple of Christmas traditions, but one of my favorites is having a huge breakfast right after we open up all the presents. There's usually cinnamon rolls, bacon, uh, there's also like chocolate mousse. So we get absolutely full right after opening all of our presents and then we hit a sugar downfall right after. We usually go to my aunt's house and they have a pizza oven, like a fire one, and that's really cool and we make pizzas, which is kind of weird to do on Christmas, but that's what we do. And then we open gifts and have a gift exchange with all the cousins and it's really fun. Um, one thing we do at Christmas is we open up gifts right at midnight and we open up all our gifts at midnight, so that's something fun. We don't wait till 6 o'clock because that's just too early. So that's something we do in our family is you definitely open up all your gifts at midnight. We all gather around in a very big circle because we have grandchildren and great-grandchildren now on my side of the family. And so we sit around in a big circle and we tell each other what we're thankful for. I don't know why we don't do this at Thanksgiving, but I think it fits at Christmas because we realize that uh, the biggest thing we're thankful for is our Savior and Jesus. And that's what Christmas is about. And so that is one tradition that I hope we will continue for as long as I'm here. Christmas traditions in our family, I think most of the traditions on our side are just getting together every year and trying to do that on Christmas morning. There's something in our family where we still enjoy that opening of the gifts on Christmas morning. So that's something that we've tried to continue. And in my wife's family, our extended family, we like to get together as a big group. And we always like to read through the Christmas story from the Bible before we start eating and opening the presents. So this past Christmas, I got to go home for Christmas, which was really special to me because I haven't been home um, apart from that time in three years. We went camping for a good solid two weeks, which was really nice. And you know, it's summer there, so it was really nice and warm. And we went to the lake a lot and we went on this two day biking trip, which was a lot of fun. And believe it or not, we also went curling because there was an indoor curling rink so that was kind of cool to experience the winter in the middle of summer, but you know, just having that chance to spend to spend at home with my family, whom I haven't seen in a couple years, was really nice, and I'm going to treasure that forever. Christmas for me is really about relationships. Um, I'm very big with the family traditions and spending time with the family, and. I kind of emphasize that with the whole thing of Jesus coming to earth and being born is all about relationships. He's coming here to earth, having relationships with people on earth, but also with the purpose of having relationships with him in heaven one day. That's what it was all about. And so I really think it's important at Christmas time that we spend time with people and work on our relationships with God as well and focus on that aspect of uh, fellowship and growing close together. 